and turn it around. Hey guys, Hi. how are you? So, um, last night you saw my video about the baby mice yes. and feeding them, and Sarah's here now. I'm at work. I look like crap. It is what it is. And I was up every like two to three hours last night feeding these babies. Um, they are still alive, mm -hmm. so that's good. Yeah. And um, I'm gonna do a feeding right now during my lunch break. Um, I don't have that much time left, so I'm gonna go ahead and let Sarah take the camera over and um, get some close-ups so you can see the baby mice. I've done tons of research last night, and we have some really good news, and it yeah. just happened. <laughs> and I just, I can't believe what just happened. It happened literally right before I was getting ready to click the go live, but my phone rang. So I'll let Sarah take that over, and I'm gonna get these babies out. All right, they are so cute. They're so tiny. All right, let's switch this around. Once again, I'm doing this formula here, and they're just so hard to hang on to. Yeah, I picked one up for the first time earlier, and they're just so tiny and fragile and so squirmy. It's like trying not to get it in their nose or all over their face. Yeah, they're not very coordinated yet. Neither am I. <laughs> and with them just moving so much. See, there you go. Aww. It's getting a little better now. And I mean, I can't imagine that they could eat very much at once. Like well, a few drops, maybe. <laughs> I mean, I, I feed them and then, you know, I stimulate their belly and their area to make them go to the bathroom and then I try to get a little bit more in them just because of how tiny they are. It's just so hard. So Sarah, do you want to tell everybody what's going on tonight with these little guys? Yeah, so we got some great news. Like Echo said, right before we sat down to film, her phone rang. And last night, she had been calling um, a bunch of different wildlife rescue centers that she found through DNR. And at first, it was really hard to try to get anyone to take them because they're not technically wildlife, but they were born wild, so we couldn't take them to like a pet store or anything. So one of the places called back and said that they would be able to take them. And the really awesome thing about baby mice is that if you have another nursing mother, then they'll actually adopt baby mice from another litter. So the place that just called us said that they right now have 14. Um, nursing moms. Yeah, 14. And they're all like different ages, you know, different numbers in their litter. So she said that there's definitely... A, you know, a litter that they can fit them into where the mom will take care of them. And obviously that's ideal is for them to be raised with a mom mouse, you know, in a litter, keep them together, and they'll, that'll give them the best chance of survival. So we're really excited. They're going to go there tonight. And then Echo won't have to be feeding them goat's milk with a paintbrush every two hours. <laughs> and they'll have, you know, the ideal ideal circumstances to grow up with so that they can be re-released. And we have somebody walking in, so we're going to set this down real quick. <laughs> Sorry guys. <laughs> oh, and coworker interruption. <laughs> It's like, what are you doing? We're on YouTube Live. I know. Yeah, we started doing this at lunchtime, and that just happened to be the time everyone came back to the office. So. Yeah, because they all got to go eat already. Um, we haven't even eaten yet. No. Nope. So last night, uh, when I was feeding them at one point, last night it was really cute because I was able to put it on their hands. And they were just like licking it off their hands because they just weren't having it in the mouth for a moment. But I mean, this makes sense, and thank God I. Searched on YouTube. <laughs> I know. Thank goodness for YouTube. Like, I would have never thought of goat's milk for baby mice. And the lady, uh, what did she, I, I don't know about on speaker the whole time. She said some mice take really well to it and others don't. And then if they don't, go ahead and get kitten formula. Which, on my way home last night, whenever I got the paintbrush, whenever I had the mice, I got the paintbrush and I got some unflavored Pedialyte, which is what YouTube said to put in them first just to get something in them. And so I got uh, the kitten formula just in case something, you know. Oh, 
And they just like to look all around so much. It's crazy. I know. Well, it's like they feel so fragile. And I mean, they, they are. are. They're babies, but... I mean, they were left alone for so long and survived all by themselves in a cabinet. Just laying there. Right. And, and if you didn't see the first video, I put them back where I found them and I left them over 24 hours. I left food for mom there, um, hoping that she would come back. But every time I checked it, basically uh, the situation was was that. I had q tips laid out where I set them. There they are. So I basically. Um, you know, like left it there hoping that she would come back to take care of babies. It's not like I just found them and scooped them up and that's that. I believe that it's a wild animal that it should be, you know, but still, it's like they're just so hopeless and I want them to have the best chance. You can like hear it. It's like... And like droppers are too big, like even the smallest droppers, you can't really get it in there. So we're doing the paintbrush method. Yeah, let's check on little siblings. Oh, they're so cute. <laughs> There's one like laying half on top of the other with like its nose and its ear. <laughs> Wait, what ear? I, yeah, <laughs> where, where the ear should be, or will be. I know, and I really wonder how old they are. I mean, obviously, they're extremely young. Like, they don't even I have their eyes open. I think they're a little less than a week with the size they are. I was looking at, like, science mouse charts. <laughs> it's a little bigger on his little hand. Yeah, maybe not right now. He's ready to roam around. And, I mean, they're so much more mobile than what I had expected. Yeah, I mean, they're not coordinated at all, no, but they, they can get around. Oh. And they, like, want to go. Like, he doesn't want to sit still to even eat. And I know it's not mom, buddy, but I am really, really trying to do my best here. I know. I'm just, I'm so happy that they're going to be with a mommy mouse tonight. In and a colony. They'll be in a litter. Yeah. They have a nursing mom mouse colony. Like, that's awesome. I didn't even know that was a thing. I, I can't wait to go to this place and see it and just be like, hey. <laughs> Maybe volunteer, just not for mice. All right, so then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put him way over here because he'll move around quite a bit, trust me. And then I'll start getting brother or sisters. I'll start working on these guys and getting them fed. <laughs> and it's like they're always sleeping, so like when we first get them, they're not like so moving, and then once they start eating, and they're like, oh, it's warm, and it's skin. Mm -hmm. Well, the nice thing is there's only three of them. Oh, God, if there was more, I don't know that I could take this on. But, I mean, I'm just so thankful, because I thought my whole weekend was just going to be feeding baby mice and being short on sleep, and... There was one last night, and he was like the best eater. And I don't think it was this one. <laughs> oh. Oh. He's so precious. His little foot, though. <laughs> like, they just wiggle around so easily. It's like trying not to break their legs, trying not to pinch their tail. <laughs> Try not to do all these awful things to him. Come here, guy. You don't want your foot in your mouth. But this lady on the phone said that... Okay. This lady on the phone said that uh, they've only lost two wild mice this year so far. Oh, wow. Yeah, two out of... I don't know how many, but they have 14 nursing moms. Like... Yeah, that is really impressive. I'm just glad that there is a place to take animals like this and that they have, you know, like, how are you supposed to go to a pet store and be like, by the way, like, I know you have feeder mice, but <laughs> can I have the nursing mom? Like, it don't work that way. Oh. So one was sucking on its own tail last night, too. Like, it was nursing <laughs> on it. And there was just no way throughout the night that I could, you know, really 
do this and be online and stuff. And, and a lot of our subscribers, I know you guys probably don't give two craps about this, but it's like, hey, that's what's going on in my life right <laughs> now. So here you go. Hey, this guy is so wiggly. <laughs> like seriously, I don't know how I'm going to feed him. And they can't drink out of a dish or anything no. like that. Not yet, there's no way. Come on guys, let's hold still. There you go. <laughs> and then it's like they'll take a few little drinks and they're like, all right, you're ready to wiggle on it. <laughs> Another coworker knocking. Hey. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Hey, sir, I've got an issue with some scheduling. How you doing? I'll return. Hey, I'm good. How are you? All right, guys. So I know we're still on live, and Sarah just got taken for a work issue. I'm turning this around here. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and sign off by myself. I got this little guy here, and then we have one more in there that hasn't eaten yet. So then I'm gonna make sure that they go to the bathroom. I'm gonna feed them before I leave work, and then before eight o'clock, I have to give them, get them over to the uh, rescue tonight. So, hey, we are doing our best to save three baby mice. You guys have a great day, and we will see you later. Bye.